Hey guys, Psychic Pictures here, and welcome back to Let's Review Anime. Let's continue on to Hyperdimension Neptunia, the animation episode 8. The episode starts with Pishi and Neptune fighting over pudding. Neptune makes Pishi cry with really bad words. And then Plutia cheers up Pishi with a plushie that she made herself. We then get a reason for why everyone else had shown up in Planet Neptune. They are all headed they're headed to R-rated island. An island strictly for adults. Don't worry, Pishi, Uni, Ram, and Ram will be left out. Don't worry about uncomfortable fan service with that regard. The theme song plays, and Bert tells Neptune and Netgear that they're going to this island to investigate a gun site. They all arrive at the site and change into swimsuits. Bert makes a joke that Lon and Flutia might not be accepted because of their chest sizes. The program then allows adults in, also says this, causing... Oh, bleh, sorry. The program that allows adults in also cracks a joke about Blonde's ch chest size and Plutia's, causing Blonde to go berserk and Plutia to cry. After that incident, and Blonde actually destroys the system, uh, they all go in and they run into Linda, or Underling as most people call her. Linda says she is reformed and shows everyone a great place to have fun. The people there are naked and have light streaks across their chests, vaginas, and butts. Bert gets an idea, whispers to Neptune, and both of them and both them and Plutia toss off their swimsuits and en encourage Nepgear to take her swimsuit off too. Nepgear agrees and Turns out Neptune, Bert, and Plutia were pranking the others and had their swimsuits on the whole time. Nepgear is shocked, of course, because she actually did throw off her swimsuit. They have a little fun after that, then Linda brings them some tea. Neptune gulps it down and she seems to be ashamed about being in a swimsuit. Plutia then transforms and beats the crap out of Linda. They all then reach the gun machine and see that it is a bubble maker. Back on Plan Neptune, we see the person that was handling handing out the flyers in the first episode come by claiming to be Pishi's mother. She does something to Pishi and then they leave. The goddess then return the goddesses then return and find that Pishi is gone. They also have no way to find her. Neptune then has a moment that is actually pretty sh pretty sad for how short it is. The uh, mother of Pishi then says she brought Pishi to her client, which which I'll say later. Her name is Ray. And the person she brought Pishi to is none other than Annie, who has broken out of jail. This ends the episode. So, wow. Fan the fan service was just a distraction to snatch Pishi from under the goddess's noses. We will get what this leads to later. We will get to what this leads to later. But for now, I will, sh I will say that this ending was great. It shows how Neptune truly feels about Pishi, and nothing more needed for the. Not, there was nothing more needed to be said. The fan service is not distracting and is more so made for you to laugh at it rather than just look because it is there. More high school DXD will be next. This has been Psychic Pictures, and I'll see you guys next time.